a gritty and gray world where gold is rarely seen and your coins may be made of iron. One where most monsters are men and people survive any way they can. This is a world as portrayed through the eyes of a poor boy from the streets of Old City in the greatest city of Orth, Oric, and the Flaness, Greyhawk. Hail and well met. Welcome back to Liam's Lyceum. I'm your host, Liam, aka Hemvar. Today I'll be doing a spoiler free review of Gary Gygax's Saga of Old City. Saga of Old City was the first official novel for the Greyhawk setting, though other works such as Quack Keep had been set in an earlier version of the Greyhawk world. Gary Gygax, who created the world of Greyhawk and wrote Saga of Old City, decided to write the Gore the Rogue novels, of which Saga of Old City is the first, after the success of Weiss and Hickman's Dragonlance books showcasing the Dragonlance setting. Young Gore the Gutless is our protagonist. He is poor and well-established in pauperhood when we meet him. He has two coins, and they are not even copper, but just iron. The start is reminiscent of other tales I've read of young orphans that steal and live on the streets, barely surviving and not even truly living. I was surprised how much Gygax's prose was actually fine, since I was expecting worse. His expectations coming from the fact that he was known for RPG designing and not writing novels. The story is episodic, sort of like a Dungeons and Dragons campaign, but also reminiscent of Liber's Fawford and Grey Mouser books. In fact, it was said by Gygax himself that Gord resembled the Grey Mouser in Chert Fawford. From the streets, to jail, to the hands of the Baker Master, Gord goes swiftly. From the first page you know this is not a kid's book. Dragonlance is pretty gentle and maybe it could pass for younger audiences, though it was definitely adult as well. Comparatively, Saga of Old City is gruesome and harsh, though not gross or disturbing. It's definitely a coming of age to start rather than a grand epic as well. While I found Dragonlance more epic than your average Forgotten Realms tale, the world of Greyhawk is less epic. It is essentially a sorted sorcery setting. It's rather low in fantasy and full of decaying civilization of humanity. One example I think illustrates this well is that the Thieves' Guild of Greyhawk is a legal venture. Assuming no one gets caught and pays a tithe from stolen coin and goods to the city council, the adventures Gord goes on are in no way to save the world though. I think this may change later in the series. Gord's coming of age somewhat reminds me of Elminster's, though it's really just reminiscent of the trope in general. Chapters often skip a few years, and shortly we have a young adult Gord getting into trouble. Don't worry, more than half the story is Gord as an adult. It was great fun getting to explore a little of the Flaness, being a portion of the continent of Oric. We experienced the world through the eyes of Gord, who was seeing the places for the first time. Our character Gord is exactly as described, a rogue. He's a thief, though not really evil, he serves himself. The plot kind of follows this random going on of his life, which is to say it's all over the place. The rogues in this are awesome, and I particularly love their impersonation skills. They're not just handy with blades for purse cutting and fighting. It's nice because they just need to execute the act extremely well, and don't need to bypass a ton of magic, as there is low amounts of magic and even lowish amounts of people, not human. We do have some other characters in this, my favorites being Cherit and Gellor. And while relatively a story of human affairs, we do see a sea serpent, a demon, and a wolf wear. When a large fight breaks out near the end of the book, you really can see Gygax's wargaming experience coming through in stratagem and all the particular names for weapons of all sorts, along with the specific types of armor being worn. Overall, this is such a fun adventure of one small thief from Old City. The story is often told in such a way that the narrator tells of the next leg of the journey at the start of a chapter, before then describing how Cord got there, and then continuing with what came after he was in the predicament. It is also extremely first edition Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, with thief ranks, bards, and whatnot. Take this quote from the book, for example, quote, A bard has something to do with the druidical studies? Unquote. We even get to see Gord fall in love and not have a happily ever after. The last couple chapters really bring the story full circle and it ends very nicely. While the plot is kind of a mystery with this novel, I do believe some things seen here will show up for the rest of the series of Gord the Rogue. It was a fun ride, and I'd recommend just going with it. Let Gord take you on the adventure of his young life. There are six more books after this one, and I do plan on reading them all at some point. Even though I only gave this one three stars, the enjoyment has only grown since I read it in July. I only really look at it fondly. I'd recommend it for fans of Dungeons & Dragons and Sword and Sorcery. There are two versions of the novel available, the original TSR with the Clive Caldwell cover and the Chanel and gray version and hardcover from 2008. The original is easier to find and generally cheaper, and also has 14 pieces of interior art by Caldwell as well that are really nice. Anyway, let me know what you think of this review, and let me know if you've read any Greyhawk novels, and if you've read Saga of Old City, I would really love to talk to someone who has. I'm thinking in the next couple months I will probably read Artifact of Evil, book two in the series, and this week I'm hoping to actually read the short story that was found in Dragon Magazine issue 100. 
Also, I'd just like to thank everyone for subscribing and supporting. As of recording this, I have a little less than 80 subscribers, which is completely insane. I've been at this for just a little over a month, and I love the support. I love that y'all love pulpy goodness and science fantasy and other such things that I, that I enjoy. And I would just like to say thank you to all of you, and you can always talk to me in the Wizardly Duo Discord and the Excessive Detail Discord as well, as well as wherever else you can find me. Anyways, this has been Liam from Liam Slicium. Until next time.